So this is challenging because there's a lot of long bows and you have to sustain the sound for all those bows. The next challenge is the fact that this is in D flat major. So you have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, and G flat. Essentially you have no open strings here. So although the notes themselves aren't any more challenging because it's really just holding half steps that we're gonna factor everything down, most of your fingers are gonna be in very different positions that we're really not normally um, used to having them in there, okay? So we're gonna start in third position. We have an F natural, so D, F natural, and then we have half steps, and here's the first change. When you cross to the A string, your two goes from E natural, a high two on the A, and then to A string, it's gonna be a low two, so you'll notice that the two switches, whole step, and then you keep it low, right? So that's the first change, high two on the E natural to a low two A flat, and then a low two on A, so, And then you have a D flat, so you're gonna think F, E flat, D flat, you're gonna think two whole steps. You're gonna play a half step, just put one, two, half step shift, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step. So the most important part is to really know your distances, make sure you start with the right note, and think whole and half steps. Factor everything down. Um, and then also anytime there's a big change, usually shifts are the most common changes that will make mistakes. So practice every shift alone. So we have a D natural. You notice how I'm making sure that my D is in tune, the D natural with the open D and then I'm gonna practice that half step shift. So this is second position to fourth position. When you shift, make sure that you're sliding, no jumping, keep your fingers down. You wanna feel it. Feel how far you're sliding, you want to see it, look at it, and you also want to hear it. So start slow and then speed up. All right, so just a recap of the first line, make sure you're thinking half and whole steps. Make sure you're aware of that shift. And then make sure that you're really, really, really just keeping a very smooth bow. So first line is... Whole step to the A flat. All right, now we're on to second line. We have F, G flat. So here we're gonna shift from fourth position back to third. Half step. Okay, so we're also gonna practice half step that shift, G flat to A flat, right? And no guessing, make sure that you're telling your hand to slide a whole step down, that whole step up. Whole step, whole step. You're gonna do a shift, but really just exchange. Same note. Half step. Crossover. Whole step, low four, low three, high one. You notice how my fingers went down into half steps? Right, so when you go C, D flat, whole step, Whole step, squeeze your fingers, half step, a stretch. So you pinky naturally there is F, F, G, A, B flat. So just a half step stretch. You notice how my hand kind of went up and around a little bit to make it easy for my pinky to reach. All right, so we're at, all right, make sure your hand comes out, make it easy. You'll notice how by my elbow coming out here, the pinky's knuckle is going up and it's gonna make it really easy to get that half step stretch and in tune, so half step, stretch, half step, right? Now from the three, that G flat to the A flat, it's a step and a half. You'll notice how between here there's a half step and there's a whole step with a string crossing. G flat, A flat, I'm gonna recycle my two, half step. Let's, excuse me, let's recap the second line. We start in fourth position, my, one is on the E flat, F, so second line. Half step, whole step, shift back. Shift up a whole step, same note. Half step. High one, stretch. Half step, step and a half. Recycle the two. And then four, crossover, same two. So F natural, that was at the end of the second line, is the same two that's gonna be at the beginning of the third line. So a tempo, pianissimo, this is the end measure of the second line. 
You'll notice how my fingers are all in the same place. Two to three half step, two to three half step. One is recycled. And then we're gonna to shift to fourth position, or excuse me, fifth. Okay, so this is a tempo, pianissimo, end of the second line, or measure 192. One, two, three, four, one. Shift up a whole step, A flat, whole step. Not a stretch, just two whole steps. So here it's a little bit tricky. You have to change positions and you have to change strings. So we're gonna do the shift here. This is measure 193 to 194, the B flat to A flat. Notice I'm keeping my fingers down and I'm letting my hands slide up and down smoothly. Whole step. So from that G flat to B flat is just two whole steps. And then I'm gonna shift down a whole step. E flat, B flat. Whole step for the F. And again, a whole step shift down. So we're now in the D flat. I'm gonna move my one up a half step. I'm now in third position. Perfect time to check with open D. So this is difficult to get in tune because it's just a chromatic scale. It's all half steps, right? So make sure you listen for the open D. So this is back from measure three, four, five, six. Measure one, 96, D flat. This is easy because you'll notice how everything was half steps. And then I'm gonna cross over to the E string. Okay, and this is the shift to the last line, C to E flat. Okay, then whole step to D flat, half step to one. And I actually changed the finger in here while I was uh, creating the tutorial. Um, instead of one four crossing over strings in a slur, I'm gonna shift with my two and a half step, and that's actually gonna eliminate slurring, uh, shifting, or crossing over on a, on a slur, which we try to avoid. So this is E flat, this is measured 202, 203, 204. I'm gonna slide the two half step. And then whole step, half step, whole step, four. And if you want, you could add the at the very end, but make sure that it's a half note, all right? So that's the tutorial for Mahler Symphony Number no. 1, Movement 4. And this is at about 3 minutes 40 seconds in of most recordings. This is measure 175 to the end, depending on which chord you use, Rehearsal 16. Hope this helps. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment to learn with me. Thank you.